Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from the spring NARBC. I'm here with Dawn Church of Saurian Farms. So Dawn, tell us, obviously everyone knows what we're going to be talking about. Tell us about your history with monitors. Well, I've always been fascinated with them ever since I was a kid, yeah. uh, but really didn't start working with them until about 10 years ago. And uh, I had a particular uh, fondness for Australian monitors yes. and especially lace monitors. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite thing about the lace monitor? Wow, I, I mean I've always been really drawn to the patterns, mm -hmm. especially of the Bell's phase yes. and uh, also their behavior in the wild, their uh, arboreal nature, their uh, a uh, very you know, unique biology. The females nest uh, in termite mounds that they guard and defend. So it's uh, uh, and the, the 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 eggs incubate for you know, eight months or more. So it's fascinating biology, and the female will guard that nest site during that time. Yes. Tell us you. So you started keeping ten years ago or breeding? Yeah, uh, breeding about. Uh, yeah. Well, now it's been probably keeping more like twelve years okay. and breeding the lace uh, beginning in what was that? 2014, Sam. Yeah, I think 2014 we began breeding the lace. Yeah. Wow. So um, tell me how you got into this lace breeding project. Well, it was uh, a few people uh, early in the 2010s uh, began importing some from Europe. Uh, and I was one of those people. And, uh, you know, through a lot of mistakes, we finally had some success and kind of been building on it from there. Yeah. Awesome. So this was your first NARBC, I heard. It is, How yeah. was it? It was wonderful. Just a lot of excitement, a lot of people interested in these animals, and the only problem was I haven't been able to get around and see mm. everyone else's. I know. It's yeah. a blessing and a curse when you're that busy. Yeah, exactly. Don here has promised to go to the October <laughs> NARBC. Uh, I will try to get there. I promise to try. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because he, he did miss my talk, which is okay, I, I forgive you. Thank for you, it. thank you. <laughs> so tell us about this beautiful girl. Yeah, so this, this female here was hatched out about seven months ago. They grow quickly with good diet. You know, as hatchlings and small animals, they're pretty skittish, mm -hmm. uh, but they become very mellow with with age. It's as if they know they're you know top predator in the wild where they come from, and that uh, shows as, as they get older and older. It, it's good to socialize them, handle them some, right. and uh, but uh, overall, as a species, they are very uh, easy to tame, monitor. So, is this an animal that's possible to handle if you like got one as an adult that wasn't socialized? Uh, good question. I, I would say I would say yes. It would take more work, mm -hmm. and uh, but with training, it would be possible. But they're still relatively rare in the hobby, so yeah, animals are like that. Are I, I would say getting one out of the wild, which isn't you know an option uh -huh. for this species right. here in the U.S. Uh, that that might be a challenge. But uh, they're very intelligent. So if, if you have gentle interactions with them, they begin to associate you with as a source of food and mm -hmm. uh, not a threat. Right. And they pick up on that pretty quick. How many monitors are you keeping at this point? Oh my goodness. Uh, well, you know, with adults, uh, we have about 30. Wow. Yeah. Different yeah. species or do you Different focus species, on these guys? Different uh, species. Lace monitors are focus. Uh, Spencer's monitors, another Australian species. Uh, and then some of the dwarf monitors, mm. Pilbara, uh, Pilbara rock monitors, mm -hmm. King's rock monitors. Nice. Well, thank you so much for sharing this beautiful girl with me today. Uh, she's just absolutely stunning. Uh, one of my favorite animals that I've seen at the show this weekend. Oh, thank you. It's yeah, been my pleasure. She's, she's incredible. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to get some of these from you at some oh, point. Oh, that would be great. She is just perfect. Wow. Amazing. Well, um, how can people find you? You can find us on uh, our website, SaurianFarms.com, or our Facebook page, SaurianFarms.com. Oh, excuse me, however you look for that on Facebook, <laughs> Sorian Farms. And it's, uh, and uh, yeah, drop us a line. I'm happy to be in touch. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Don. And, and what's your name? Sam. So Sam is kind of the brains behind the operation. When Dad forgets something, Sam's there to back him up. Which is pretty often, right? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. All right. Wow.